Now, often you may come across cases wherein there may be mistakes that uh, somebody might do in calculating interest. Then how do you correct those mistakes? So we'll be taking a few problems based on that. So this is, and before that we'll be also doing what is called as a buying decision. It's especially used in case of whether you have an option to lease out a machine or whether it would be better to buy a particular machine. Or maybe even if you are going in for a bank, suppose it wants to uh, open a new branch, whether it would be better to buy a premises or to lease it out, which would be cheaper. So for this, the present value, future value, all these things need to be taken into account. So this is the case where we need to analyze the case and observe. So for example, the best cases we have over here, a machine can be purchased for 50,000. The machine will contribute 12,000 per year for the next 5 years. Assuming borrowing cost is 10% per annum, determine whether the machine should be purchased or not. As in, whether it would be ideal to invest 50,000 and block that much amount of money or we will, whether it is what is, will be the, whether the machine should be purchased or it's better to go it as investment. So, Hence, what do you have? You have 12,000 per year for the next 5 years. So, what do we do is that even assuming it is, it is going to produce 12,000 per year for the next 5 years, let us see what is the value of this 12,000 per year for the next 5 years, current value of this 12,000 per year. So, taking P has to be found out, taking R as 12,000 i as 0 0.1 and n as 5. When you do this, the 60,000 that you are invested, that you are going to get through this machine because for 12,000 rupees per year, it's able to pay you. So 12,000 for 6 years. So for 5 years, its value is 60,000. And let us see what is the value of those uh, 60,000 in terms of present value. So it is going to be P is going to be R that is 12,000 upon I 0 0.1 1 plus I that is 1.1 raised to 5 minus 1 upon 1.1 raised to 5. Let's see what the value of this is. So we have 1 So, this present value of this machine turns out to be 45,000, not present value of all these deposits turns out to be 45,489 rupees. That means in 5 years it is able to produce 12,000 rupees worth benefit. It is equivalent to getting only 45,489. So, eventually the revenue that it generates or whatever is the productivity is worth only 45,489 as of such. Now, if you compare this with the cost of the machine, which is 50,000, it looks, it's a typical case of expense being more than the revenue. So, it's definitely not a very good idea to buy if the productivity or the value of whatever it produces in the next 5 years is going to be just 45,489 as per current standards, you might as well go in for leasing it out rather than blocking 50,000 rupees over there. So definitely it should not be purchased. What else you can do for that more data is available. Definitely it should not be purchased because the value of its productivity 5 years from now with reference to today is much less than the cost of the machine so definitely it should not be purchased yes this affirms what we said further now we have a different case 
A company is considering proposal of purchasing a machine either by making full payment of rupees four thousand or by leasing it for four years at an annual rate of rupees one thousand two fifty. Which course of action is preferable if the company can borrow money at fourteen percent compounded annually? So that means we are to calculate the present value of this one thousand two fifty for four years and compare it with five thousand. So taking R as one two five zero, I as zero point one four, and N as four, calculate P. P will turn out to be R upon I, that is one thousand two hundred and fifty upon zero point one four, into one point one four raised to four minus one upon one point one four raised to four. Which turns out to be one thousand two hundred and fifty upon zero point one four. Now here we have been given this value one point six eight eight nine six minus one upon one point six eight eight nine six. So which turns out to be one two five zero into zero point six eight eight nine six divided by zero point one four. Divided by one point six eight eight nine six. And so we have one six uh, one two five zero into zero point six eight eight nine six divided by zero point one four. Divided by one point six eight eight nine six. This turns out to be three thousand six hundred and forty two rupees thirteen paise. That is this. That means you are when you lease it out, the current value. If you're paying, even if you're paying one thousand two fifty for the next four years, it's equivalent to blocking just three thousand six hundred and forty two currently. And this is the lease cost, the present value of the lease cost, whereas the actual cost is four thousand. So it is definitely preferable to lease it out because you are just blocking three six four two by current standard, whereas blocking four thousand is not a very good idea. So leasing it out is definitely preferable. So this is how we calculate. So leasing is preferable. Okay, then. You have the next one. A company may obtain a machine either by leasing it for five years at an annual rent of two thousand, or by purchasing the machine for eight thousand one hundred. If the company can borrow machine at eighteen percent per annum, which alternative is preferable? So the annual rent is two thousand. So we need to calculate the current value of this annual rent. So taking R equal to two thousand and I is equal to zero point one eight. N is equal to five. We calculate the present value, so which is going to be P is equal to R upon I two thousand upon zero point one eight one point one eight raised to five minus one upon one point one eight raised to five. So which turns out to be one point one eight into two three four five. So, and that will be two point two eight seven 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 six eight minus one into So this value, this whole thing turns out around eight thousand and forty-one. So it works out to be eight thousand and forty-one. That means the present value of all the leasing amount that you have paid is eight thousand and forty-one, while machine cost is eight thousand one hundred. 
So the cost of the machine is more than the present value of the amount that is calculated by for the leasing amount. So definitely it's better to lease it out because leasing is cheaper than the cost. Hence that's the way it is. So all these examples are telling out how to how a certain buy, buying decision can be affected by calculating the present value as compared to what it would be in future and then decide whether the investment is worth or no whether it's better to purchase the machine not to purchase the machine or you have an alternative of leasing or not so that's what we have in buying decision